but I just had this mission to really help people to make an impact. And as Steve Jobs put a dent in the universe. What I've been teaching for over 25 years is what I call the power habits of unconsciously successful people. Now that sounds like a mouthful, but it's actually really simple. I'll break it down for you. So everybody knows that, you know, if we want to have a better life, we have to improve our habits, right? We all know that. So there's a lot of teachers and teachings out there about habits, right? And habit change. Problem is that they're talking about the habits that are up here in the conscious level. Um, and so if you think about it like an iceberg, right? An iceberg, most people, I'm sure your listeners know that, you know, about 5% of our thoughts, behaviors, and actions as human beings are up in the conscious level. It's like the top part of the iceberg that you can see. But meanwhile, the vast 95% is hidden. It's below the surface. That's the unconscious part of our habits and our thoughts and behaviors every day. And so the point is, it wasn't the part of the iceberg that they could see the sunk the Titanic. It was the part that they didn't see that sunk the Titanic. And that's the part mm -hmm. that's sinking most of us as well, meaning the unconscious habits. So what I realized and discovered many years ago is that these highly successful people, the people we always look up to, you know, these people that, you know, no matter what they do, everything seems to turn to gold, you know, no matter what mm -hmm. they do it. And, and they're not even working that hard, or at least it doesn't seem like they are. And you're here, you know, you're busting your buns and you're looking, you're working hard and all this you know, hustling and grinding. And meanwhile, they just sail on la -dee dot And it's like, what the heck is going on around here? Right? That just was so frustrating for me. And so I realized that those people like that, I call them the naturals of success, are doing things unconsciously that they don't even know they're doing, number one. And therefore, number two, they can never teach it to you. So that's why mm -hmm. a lot of people hire me to coach them after they've gone to all these seminars, after they've gone to all the gurus, and they're still stuck. They're hitting that income ceiling, as I call it, the income ceiling syndrome. And what I do is I, and they say, well, no, how come I've gone to all these seminars and done, done all these things and I'm still stuck? And I go, because they left everything out. That's why. So I'll give you a perfect example of this. I was talking with one of my clients. His name's Charles. And I said, how much do you think it's going to cost you if we don't fix this problem? Meaning, you know, if we don't fix the problem, your, your income ceiling, you know, that's causing your income ceiling. And he said, well, a million dollars. He said, no, it's easily going to cost me a million dollars if I don't fix this problem. And I said, you know, Charles, I hear this every day. And people say to me, Noah, this is costing me, you know, half a million, a million, two million dollars a year, a, a year or more. I mean, so we're not talking just one year. It's, it's cumulative, right? It keeps adding up and up. So my point is, I said, I hear this all the time. Number one. Number two, just give me 10% of that million dollars and I will find you a million dollars in the next 12 months. In other words, if you give me $1 and I give you $10 back, is that a good deal? He goes, well, yeah, that's a good deal. He decided to hire me right there. So he paid me 100K, right? $100,000. That's 10% of a million, right? So he paid me 100. He decided to hire me, pay me 100K to coach him one-on-one -on -one for a year. Now, as it turns out, I didn't find him a million dollars in the next 12 months. As it turns out, I found him $1.8 million in just 10 months. So he gave me a dollar and I gave him eight dollars back. Is that a good deal? No, that's a great deal. And he also sent me an email recently and he said, guess what, Noah? Guess where I am? I'm on a seven week vacation with my wife. He said, I just bought a new RV with all this money, you know, that we have now. He said, this is a dream I've had for years. For years, I've wanted to, you know, buy an RV and travel the country with my wife. And I've never been able to do it before. Now I can do it because now I have more time than ever before. And I have more money than ever before. So not only did you help me make more money, but you also helped me fulfill my dream and get my life back. So that's the power of these power habits.